Hi guys, just west of the town of Rocky Mountain House is the Rocky Mountain House historic site run by Parks Canada. The fort has a history going back to the 18th century with the presence of British and Canadian fur traders. The museum highlights the fur trade with the Blackfoot pagans as well as the Kootenays. And it also tells the story of David Thompson who was lived from 1770 to 1857 and he was a surveyor. Uh, he used the fort as a launching point in search of a passage west of the Pacific. They also talk about Charlotte Small who was his wife and accompanied him on his expeditions. Both the Hudson Bay Company and the Northwest Company each had posts in the area in 1799 which were Rocky Mountain House and Acton House fur trading posts. Uh, when they uh, merged in 1821, the two companies retained the name of Rocky Mountain House. As you can see, they've got uh, many uh, examples of clothing of First Nations people in the area. And all very well done. A lot of these show incredibly nice speed work again fabulous The grounds include the museum part that you're seeing here as well as a few walking paths in the area. It also has a, a site of the last fort, I believe, where you can see some features that are still left, which we'll be seeing in a minute. This is a display, I guess you could call it, that shows what the fort inside could have looked like very small but gives a decent idea. This is the Native American populations in the area and this is a map by David Thompson. I both believe they're about 1800s and this is a outside map showing the paths along the river. And here's the North Saskatchewan River, of which the fort sits beside. If you got the time, I'd highly recommend walking around the grounds. It's very well worth it. And here's the fort, remains of the fort that I mentioned before, showing some of the features that are still around. map. You can see by that diagram just how much the river is now taken over the old site of the fort. So the erosion over the years has been quite a bit. The old chimneys that are still around. You get a kick out of that plaque. It says that it's a primitive structure, but for 200 years or thereabouts, it's done pretty well to last that long. And they had front and back sections. There would have been a wall between to heat up different rooms. Open field. The grounds are uh, fairly large. I'm not sure how many acres is there. Just if you want to know, Paul Kane was an Irish-born painter who was famous for uh, painting First Nations people in the Canadian West during those years. Yeah, there is a cemetery on site, and as I believe, it's, it's a real cemetery. They found it, I believe, during the 60s and 70s, during archaeological digs. York boat. 
These guys were pretty important during the fur trade. They were pretty much the semi-trucks of the era. Quick example of the trails around the site going along the North Saskatchewan River. If you got the time, it's well worth it. It's a really good walk, nice views. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for coming over to the channel.